In this lab, we will investigate a typical point-and-shoot digital camera to see how it works. The camera you will be using is Canon G7, a point-and-shoot camera which can be controlled from the computer. In particular, you will learn about focus, exposure time, aperture and ISO. In automatic mode, a digital camera will choose these settings for you. But if you want to take creative photographs, you have to know how to choose them yourself. In digital cameras, the image sensor is a charge coupled device or CCD. When the sensor is exposed to light, the charge distribution changes. This new charge distribution is then read off and processed into an image. Whereas in film cameras, the image is formed on a film which is a length of plastic that has been coated with certain chemicals. When a picture is taken, the film is exposed to light in a controlled manner using lenses, aperture and shutter. To begin the lab, switch on the camera and connect to the computer. Then open up the Zoom Browser X software that you will be using to control the camera. Click on Acquire and Camera Settings and then connect to the camera. Then select the Remote Shooting tab and click Start Remote Shooting. Select the folder where you want to save the images. The camera is now connected and you can set the camera settings. Set the ISO to 400, AE mode to manual, exposure time which is referred to as TV in Zoom Browser to 1 by 50 and aperture that is AV to 4.5. Then press release to grab a picture. You can then zoom into the picture to see the pixels using the slider on the upper left of the window to zoom in and out. Zoom in until you can see the pixels and out again until you can't see the pixels anymore. There. You can also get the image size by checking the properties panel. When you change the focus on the camera, you are changing the image distance, the distance from the lens to the image sensor, while leaving the focal length the same. This is done by moving the lens relative to the sensor. If the image distance is changed, but the focal length is not, this has the same effect as changing the object distance. You can see this in the lens equation. If f is constant, then the left hand side of the equation should remain the same. That means if either i or o is varied, the other one has to change to get the proper image in focus. Increasing the distance between the lens and the real image actually increases the total size of the real image. The same basic thing happens in a camera. As the distance between the lens and the real image increases, the light beam spreads out more forming a larger real image. Here you can see the camera changing the image distance by moving the lens away from the sensor. In this section you will test the exposure time using the light emitting diode and an audio generator. Begin by setting the frequency of the audio generator to 10 Hz. Set the exposure time to 1 tenth of a second and ISO to 100. Take pictures of the diode with different values of exposure time and by changing the frequency of the flashes accordingly. The number of bright dots varies with different settings of frequency and different values of exposure time. In these photographs, the exposure time is set to 1 tenth of a second. The red LED is on frequency of 10 Hz, the green one on 20 Hz and the yellow on 30 Hz. That is why only one red dot is visible whereas there are two and three green and yellow dots respectively. The aperture of a camera is the hole through which light has to pass in order for a picture to be made. The bigger the aperture, the more light gets in and the brighter is the image captured. Here you can observe changing aperture by looking at the center of the lens. Next we come to ISO. ISO controls the sensitivity of the image to the light. The higher the ISO number, the more sensitive the camera is. In this photo, the graininess is caused due to a high ISO number. This is the photo of the same object taken with the lower ISO. <clears throat> Next we will study the relation between aperture and the depth of field. First place a notebook 20 cm in front of the camera and lock the autofocus. Then set the aperture to 8 and exposure to 1 tenth of a second and then take a photograph. Then change the aperture to 2.8 and exposure to 1 by 80 and take another photograph. You will observe that the photograph with smaller aperture has larger depth of field as compared to the photograph with bigger aperture. 